So, every single time I do a video from this story lately, people ask me, where is it? What is it called? Even though it's literally in the intro you just saw. So, this is Bonita Springs Toys and Games. It is, not surprisingly, in Bonita Springs, Florida. That's Southwest Florida, if you do not know your Florida geography. Um... And yeah, this is the shop that I have been <clears throat> that I have been manager of for over a year now. Um, I've done a tour of this store before um, when the when it first opened, and when it uh, when the, basically after I kind of like came into it. But we've done a lot of changing. We updated a lot of stuff. There's a lot of new stuff in. So I thought let's tour around the store, and we'll actually show you what's going on now, so everyone has kind of an updated idea of what this place is all about. So excuse me if I go on the other side of the camera and sound weird for the rest of the video. Uh, it's the only way I can really point out everything. So when you first get into the store, you're immediately going to be hit with loose Marvel Legends and some retro Marvel toys. Or if you look to your left, you're immediately going to hit the Funko Pop section. This really took off for us as far as one of our major products. Funko collectors are rather insane. So we have expanded our inventory a lot, as well as our shelving space. So Funko Pops, uh, yeah, these are not only one of our best sellers. We kind of pride ourselves in having the biggest selection in Southwest Florida. I've been around to other shops that actually have Funko sections. No one comes close to this. Nobody. And yeah, Funko collectors are lunatics. Uh, a lot of people really like seeing what we got, and a lot of people are really impressed by how much there is. So, yeah, as you can see, tons and tons and tons of the stuff. I'll go ahead and show you, if I move over here, all the high dollar ones are in the case. It's been hit pretty hard this weekend, so i got to rearrange it. But anything 40 bucks and up keeps, uh, keeps company here. Check that out. That is not a mistake on that price. That is legitimately what that sells for. So, so for the, I'm just getting the pop section out of the way because I know a lot of people don't like pops. So they either absolutely love them or you're adamantly against them. Let's go into the marble section a little bit. This is the right side of the entrance of the store. I really like seeing all these old 90s X-Men. This takes me back really well. Uh, yep, a bunch of different Marvel superhero figures as well all early 90s love seeing it and then marvel legends as well try to get some of the toy biz ones as well you can get some of those 12 inch lots lots to choose from we only have a little bit of anime we're working on that it's one of our biggest demands it's just hard for us to find anything uh this distribution's not easy for a little shop like this to get unless like your entire store is anime all right so DC section over here. It's not as popular as the Marvel stuff is. It's, that's, that's basically because the DC movies aren't as well regarded. So we only have a little bit, but we do have some. And then we got NECA and horror stuff over here. Gigantic Freddy Krueger has been here for a while. Uh, so, you know, the NECA stuff, when the collectors find it, they go nuts. And I've been told, like, oh, if you do online sales, I, oh, I know so many people who would buy all of that. Uh, some random stuff over here. The end caps on this side of the store end up being just randomized stuff. So, like, here's Kiss figures. Here's Witchblade, fresh from a case. You know, just a lot of oddball things here and there end up on the end caps on the back sides. Because, you know, I'll get, like, one or two of something. And I don't have a section for it. Dorbs go over there for those who are a little bit tired of Funko Pops. There's people who like the Dorbs. My Goliaths, and then what little bit of Lego I still have. Not many people bring Lego into trades, so I don't have enough for a full section anymore. We have the WWE section. Lots of WWE Elite figures available. Lots of random series as well. If we look over here, there's a little bit of overspill. Uh, just some, you know, some oddball extras here and there from WWE. And then some Ninja Turtle stuff, some NECA. Some 2012 series. Uh, this one little Volkswagen. 
that everyone stares at, but no one buys. Black Series Star Wars. So what's true, what's still true about this store is the Black Series or the Star Wars section is still like the bulk of this wall of the store. It's just absolutely loaded. We've rearranged and added to it, of course, but still. Um, you see all the way up here, we've got some of the helmets, some of the big figures. And if I stare down here, we'll get to the spawn section with lots of the 90s stuff. I love the 90s McFarlane figures. There's so much detail and paintwork on them compared to other toys from the 90s, and they're huge. You know, I love, you know, like, I wish I was, I wish I knew spawn better so I could collect them a little bit more enthusiastically. I get them here and there if there's one I like the look of, but no imperative to my collection. Here's what I mean by like a random section on an end cap, like Osborne's, Clerks, Beatles, Garfield, that kind of random stuff that I don't have any other spot for. All right, and now G.I. Joe. This pretty much looks the same as it did the last time I did a tour. We added a couple things, but admittedly, a lot of the G.I. Joe stuff we have is not the highest demand stuff. It's like it's retaliation. There's only so many people who want a tiny Dwayne Johnson. But I like this section because it is the Hasbro section. Because here is the Transformers. We have added some nice things to here. Got some nice deals on Kingdom stuff. So we have some you know current figures at least. Somewhat current. But it is still mostly the same as well. Again, it's a hodgepodge kind of listing. You know me. If like it was my job, if it was my, uh, if it was my call, we'd have a much bigger Transformers section. We take it in when we get it, but it's very rare when we do. As a retail establishment in Florida, we are required to have a Disney section. That's just a law. You, do, you just can't get around that. So it's a little bit of Disney, a little bit of Kingdom Hearts, nothing too extravagant. Tabletop gaming. I want a bigger D&D section in here. I get a lot. I get quite a few people in here who talk D&D with me. So I'd love to figure out a, sh a section for them. Mech Warrior. Mage Knight, which is D and D. If you don't want to play, it's a figurine D and D game. If you don't want to actually uh, roll dice or keep track of sheets, it keeps track of it on the figurine. Video game toys. I love me some Mega Man, so of course we got some nice Mega Man items, some Amiibo, some loose Halo, sealed Guitar Hero stuff. A uh, lot of hodgepodge stuff here too, but there's some really nice things, some really nice figures here. Just waiting for the right owner to come along. On the back side. Welcome to the 90s wall. Uh, I love the Kenner Aliens. These were so cool. They were so different and so much more detailed than anything that was being produced at that time. I loved how many action features these things had. These were like some of my favorite toys. And then down here we got some Beetlejuice unpunched cards. That's some, that's some pretty random stuff to find. Some pretty rare stuff to find. There's his vehicle. Crash Dummies. Love some Crash Dummies. And then we have just like miscellaneous 90s stuff. There is one Captain Planet in there, a couple Predators, a Savage Dragon, VR Troopers. You look at the top there. You got, you got one Gargoyle, which is an Elisa Maza. Some Warriors of Virtue for your Kung Fu Kangaroo needs. Let's see, and then we go back to here for my little pittance of a Power Ranger section. Again, Power Ranger is not a line I get a lot of people trading in. I would love to see some old Megazords or something in here, and it just doesn't happen. Not even sure why. We turn the corner. We have a whole section now for Hot Wheels, which we did not have any Hot Wheels in the store before. A lot of this stuff is actually pretty old. A lot of these are case fresh. We got a warehouse purchase that gave us uh, quite a few things, including those aliens you just saw. But like, I literally pulled some of these. These are some like, some of these like gift sets are like 30 years old and I pulled them straight from the case. They hadn't been opened since they were produced. It's kind of cool. But yeah, some of these are actually really old. Some of these are actually like surprisingly old. 1981. 1981 on that one. 81. There's some, we've got some Hot Wheels that are like in, from the 70s in this store now, which is kind of crazy. All right, so a little bit more random stuff. Uh, I, you know, my Disney section over there could use a little bit of shoring up because here's some Disney over here. It could be there. A little bit of Minion, a little bit of Thundercat. Yeah, random, random. I'm ignoring the back wall because the back wall here is all just three and three quarter inch Star Wars as far as the eye can see. So all different series. 
newest stuff is down there. And then they get chronologically older the farther down the wall you get, which means we eventually end up at the Power of the Force section, which, of course, is loaded. One of the most overproduced toy lines of all time. The vehicle toys we also got in that warehouse hall, including a boxed Slave 1. I'm shocked it's still here. And then up top, we got a bunch more of the vehicles. The Mustafar place set up there. I'm shocked that one's still there. So yeah, that's the back wall that I keep ignoring. We have what I call a sci-fi section over here. So, some Pacific Rim. So actually, like, rare Pacific Rim figures from Uprising. So, cool to see those. My Star Trek section is condensed now. A few things have sold from it. So we kind of shuffled it down so it doesn't take up the entire wall anymore. But yeah, some Ghostbusters as well. Just, just little bits of little bits here and there from uh, science fiction. Again, another more random section. This one's a little bit more organized. Doctor Who stuff down there. One random in sync figure. Popeye and Scooby Doo. I thought classic cartoon stuff that makes sense next to each other. One Cabbage Patch Kid and a set of Snap Crackle Pop. Random stuff. Some D20 plushies if you want that. Big Pop Leo. Look over here, we have Barbie. Because you want to have something for the girls. Uh, a lot of moms get nostalgic over this, getting them for Christmas or not getting them for Christmas and getting them now instead. We look over here, there's a sealed case that has some of the rare Star Wars stuff. Check this guy out. Here's the flashy piece. That is a 1980 Darth Vader still sealed on card. Yeah, that's a $650 price tag on that one. Because, yeah, it's it's a sealed Star Wars toy from over 40 years ago. Of course, that's going to be expensive. All right, so if we check the end cap here that I skipped over. We're going to get into the Pokemon because the Pokemon is uh, overwhelming in this store. There's all of our binders and theme decks because people were getting confused. So I had to keep all the theme deck stuff off to the side here that's so, because everyone thought they were just big packs of random cards. That is not, not how that works. But yeah, we go over to the Pokemon section, and you can see we try to keep it as loaded as possible. Lots of older packs as well as newer stuff. Lots of booster boxes to be had. Lots of ETBs and collector boxes. So lots of uh, lots of stuff. Pokemon, a huge seller here. We got some nice retro stuff up top. Some big box stuff. Fallout Power Fist. You're not allowed to call yourself a vintage toy store without a Castle Grayskull of some sort. Though that one still needs the tower on the left side. And yeah, and then uh, a big Borderland statue, a big Barbie vehicle. Now we can take you over to the back wall and the cases. So down here, some more rare Star Wars stuff. Up top is all vintage loose. So that is an original Slave 1 that still has the Carbonite with it. Lots of really fun stuff in there. Yep, I tell people if they buy the Lars Homestead, they need to provide their own lighter fluid. I think I used that joke last time I showed it off, but hey, I'll use it again. We have a little stuff for all of our little tiny stuff, like all of our impulse purchase section over here. All of the not magic and not Pokemon TCGs. So you're going to find Pokemon, you're going to find a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, MetaZoo, Cardfight Vanguard, uh, Digimon, Dragon Ball Z, Blood, uh, Flesh and Blood, you know, whatever else we thought might sell, we tried it out. But then you get over to the magic section, which we've had a lot more magic players lately. And yeah. People are starting to figure out we have a ton. We have an absolute ton of Magic the Gathering dating. I think I think Avacyn Restore is like a 10-year-old set. So we're not slouching on Magic, certainly. We have some loose Transformers over here. Modern stuff. It's all Siege, Kingdom, that era. Some vintage G.I. Joes. Um, most of them are complete. Most of them, you know, and they have their cards and everything. So lots going on down there. More vintage stuff. She-Ra's swan. <laughs> you know, when she was tired of Swift Wind, she got a swan. Some A little bit of vintage mask. A little bit of vintage turtles. Some Build-A-Figure uh, Marvel Legends up top. Some rarer Black Series Star Wars down there. As well as a few He-Man things. These are all vintage. They barely work, but they do still work. You know, with 40-year-old figures that were very poorly designed to handle age. That's all you can really ask for. And then we have the back wall stuff of all some of the rarest things we have. The more expensive retaliation figures on the wall. 
the G.I. Joe Crusader with the box and everything. That Camp Laszlo plushie set is ridiculously rare. Like, incredibly rare. Star Wars Battle Packs there. Some very old Hot Wheels. There's like a hundred, you know, that Hulk is over a hundred dollars. Ridiculous what it goes for. Some vintage WWF. Some of the rare Marvel Legends we have. Some of the rare WWE uh, Elite figures we have. Vintage Turtles pinned to the wall. And then, uh, yeah, a little bit of uh, hard to get Transformers. That's Siege Ratchet. Man, I, it's amazing how fast that went up. And then the stuff for me that I keep by my little workstation. Uh, so, yeah, we get a little bit of Ultraman up top and then some Go Kyger. And check that out. I love seeing that. Super Link anniversary set for Transformers and Microman. Really rare set. I'm shocked someone actually brought it in. There's a little other oddball stuff I could show you. Little Disney figures there. A few loose Star Wars things. A few loose figurines and statues. That's pretty much uh, the large and small of it as far as this store goes. So, yeah, for everyone who has been asking, that's the toy store. It's in Bonita Springs. It's in Southwest Florida. Tony's still here. Hi, Tony. Holding down the fort. And, yeah, that's still what we are all about. That vintage toy feel. The kind of store you just do not see in my area at all. But... Yeah, for all of those who are curious, thank you for joining me again on one of these little excursions through the toy shop. Um, this will cover me for a while, but since the last time I toured around the store, we've added furniture and obviously we've added a lot more new sections. So I'm probably not going to do this again until we do something ridiculous. And we do have plans for ridiculous for this store. It's just a matter of getting it all lined up and figured out. But when they when we get around to that, we'll do this again. So until then, thank you for joining me around the store. And hopefully I will see you the next time I have a story to tell from this place. Guys, I am facing the most powerful enemy any YouTuber can face. The algorithm. And I need your help to defeat him. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. Every time you do, we attack that algorithm and we drive it back until it can no longer defeat this channel. Thank you very much.